Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Ward Burton's Hardy's promo from 1995. As always, take a quick look at the box. This is a Revel release, so you got some pretty nice box artwork. Got Ward Burton, Hardy's Racing 31. Down the side, you have limited edition, one of 5,000 replicas, Hardy's 31. Got Hardy's Racing 31, 124 scale die cast Monte Carlo. You got a nice little bio on the team and Ward Burton back here if you want to read that. And a picture of Ward with the car right there. Got Hardy's Racing 31, same stuff. And on the bottom, you have some copyright and how you unscrew the car. Here is the car itself. This was Ward Burton's cup car for the first few years of cup before he moved to the 22 car with Bill Davis Racing. He actually switched to that car near the end of this season. He didn't last the whole season in this car. He ran this car for 1994, and then he ran it for, you know, most of 1995 before switching to the MBNA 22 car, where, you know, he stayed for that car for a good chunk of years. First with MBNA, and then, of course, with the Caterpillar Dodge. Obviously, the cat car is the car that most people think of, but this is also a very nice paint scheme. You got the dark blue with the neon orange. Hardy's cars have always been very underrated to me. Like, everyone always thinks that 28 orange and white Cal Yarbrough car, but, like, no one really pays attention to the rest of them for some reason. Because a lot of them have really cool paint schemes. Like, dark blue with neon yellow and orange looks fantastic here. But anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Hardy's Fresh Fried Chicken. Got Chevy Monte Carlo, number 31. Down the side, you have Hardy's. You got Enjoy Minute Maid Juices. Craftsman DuPont back there. You got Ferguson on the C post. AC Moore on the B post. Got Dr. Frank C and McHugh 3. Ferguson Bath Galleries down there with a picture of a bathtub. How many times have you seen a picture of a bathtub on a car? Has your regular contingencies and such up front. Does not have Winston Cup or Bush Pole or anything. On the back, you have Hardy's 31. Got a Chevy bow tie. You got Enjoy Coca Cola on the decklet. And you got the same stuff down the other side. Wait, why is that missing a... Huh. Wow, that looks weird. It's missing the Bath Ferguson logo. Huh. That's an interesting error. I didn't even notice that until now. Anyways, let's take a look under the hood. Got nothing down there. There is the Revel engine detail. I said these Revel cars were definitely on the cheaper side. Plastic chassis, only metal body... Only opening hood. So these aren't exactly the like highest quality diecast, but for the time period, they were pretty nice. Like I said, the decals and stuff all look great, so you can't really fault them for that. So this isn't a car with a whole lot to talk about, but just, you know, I am a Ward Burton fan. I was as a kid, so I always like picking up Ward Burton cars, and, you know, this is definitely an important part of Ward Burton's career. The things he did before he joined the 22 car, which, you know, Bill Davis Racing was definitely the most iconic car for him, especially like I said, the Caterpillar car. Most people only think of the Caterpillar car. Hardy should really come back for a race, maybe for like a Darlington throwback race. I mean, if they came back, they're, they're going to run that Kelly Arbor 28 car, not one of the other cars, but Hardy should really, you know, look at just coming back for one race for a throwback or something. That could be fun. I'm sure people still eat at Hardy's. I mean, I don't have any Hardy's up here in New York, but... When I went down to North Carolina a few years ago, I did find one, and I made sure to go to it, and they're pretty good. So this is a very old release. It is a promo, so you can definitely get it wherever you want to get it, but it's not going to be too expensive. But this also isn't that cheap of a car. Like, this is one of those cars you're going to get for, like, $2. Like, this car took me a while to find, actually. There's actually two versions of these Hardy's promos. There's this one, the 95 Monte Carlo, and there's a 1994 Lumina. I'm definitely going to get the Lumina at some point. I'll probably review that one too whenever I get that. But So stay tuned for that whenever I can find that. But anyways, remember that you can get all of your diecast needs at circlebdiecast.com. And if you use the code BWAC, you can get free shipping on any order over $20. So go check that out if there's any diecast you need. But anyways, I think that's pretty much all there is to say. This has been a review of Ward Burton's Hardy Chevy Monte Carlo from 1995. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.